drug deal. How Kiari was advised to flee after his loyalists were arrested on Thursday, but refused. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. According to a news that was published by Venga newspaper this morning, it was reported that after NDLEA boss Brigadier General Buba Marwa met with the IGP of Police, Inspector General of Police, last week Thursday and showed him the video of how Abba Kiyari was involved in a drug deal, the Inspector General of Police, Baba Usman, held a meeting with the top officers and the force and briefed them about the latest development. The issue of Farah Kiyari has subdued the internet. In fact, in fact, Abba Kiyari is now on the lips of many Nigerians because of the huge many crimes he committed. But about this one, him wanting not to disappear, whatever, I'm itching already. The news in detail, please stay with us. On Friday, the IGP ordered that officers that were indicted and a drug deal should be arrested, but Abba Kiari was not found on Friday as he was stressed to his house and the mocks where he do pray, but he was not found. When these officers that were fingered and the deal were arrested, and Abba Kiari got to know about it, sources revealed to Vanguard corresponded that the suspended police boss was advised by some people to flee the country so that he would not be arrested, but he refused to listen to their advice. It was further made known that on top echelon in Nigeria persuaded the IGP and the NDLEA boss to let the case die down, but all to no avail. It was, however, made known that a suspended DCP Abba Kiyari was eventually arrested by police operatives on Friday following the IGP's order before himself and his loyalists were arrested. All were handed over. All were handed over to the NDLE operatives on Monday for proper investigation and legal prosecution. Anybody wish it for church, make it pack up. That is now my, my slogan. <laughs> if you cook beans, if he had run away to flee, where will he have flown to? No, yes. Those who are, who are telling him to flee, look, I'm very sure. That uh, when he was committing this crime, he knew he was keeping, he was reserving whatever he was going to be using for lawyer's case. Yes, because I, I don't want to believe that uh, uh, you'll be neck deep in such situations and you are not going to be expecting anything. I know now. Like she, Juju. Ah, you'll be expecting in case something happens, you know. You'll be expecting some things. But all I know is. At the end of it, they let this case not die down. Let us not hear another super story of, you know, okay, this happened and that happened and we start hearing another Nollywood or Bollywood or Hollywood movie. That at the end of the day, this is actually treated the way it should. There are many cases like this, unfortunately, in the NPF, in the military. In fact, in places where, even in the NDLEA, there are places where things like this happen on a daily basis. In fact, it is normal. That is not the Nigeria we want. That is exactly not the Nigeria we want. We can never even be safe knowing that we are bringing children into the Nigeria that is this corrupt. Sincerely. If you flee Nigeria, then it will be a soft landing because nobody will back him anymore. And USA FBI will take him unless he wants to an Islamic terrorist country to hide. Super security in day criminal in night. What a shame. Hmm. Police officers are human too. They put out of Nigerian society. So there is nothing new under the sun. May God help us to overcome temptation when it comes our ways. The thing is... Yes, there is nothing new under the sun. See, my own is, if somebody else that is neck dipped into this thing, if the person was not, just understand me, if the person was not a DCP, was not in authority, was an ordinary person, eh? I would say, mm, this person, you know, 
yes, the product of the society. And there we, even uh, there is no soft landing for the person. The person will also face the crime. But for you, that used to tell people that committed the same crime, you prosecute them. Both those that did not even commit up to the crime. You know, you know what I'm even sounding like this? Last week, or last two weeks ago, last week or the previous week before, Evans the kidnapper came out and he was making some statement concerning Abakiyari and his boys. How Abakiyari forced them to make a statement. And how the statement he wrote was not what happened. How he was tortured and people were killed before him and he was told he was going to be killed if he did not write that statement. You know, when I heard it, that was, he was sounding convincing, but at the same time, I'm saying this to the, and your people were like, you know, go, get away, come out there, you kidnapper. But now, we are not trying to say, do you mean things? That is why I'm saying this one. The way I'm saying it, we are merely scratching the surface on this issue. There are people who have gotten too neck deep. And unfortunately, these same people are the ones at the helms of affairs are the ones that should be holding these people by the hand, are the ones that should be holding people in cuffs whenever this happened. You know the law, and you break it. No, no. Your punishment could be times two. Yes. You know something, and you, you allow it to happen. That is it. Normal, normal in the house of how many children? Let's say, for instance, they have three children and the eldest was there and something got broken or something got wrong. They will flog the ed ed eldest because they'll fit in that one don't get sense. It rich make I use make I use a broken speak a, a vernacular English. To be very sincere with you, at the end of the day, he knows the law. He should face it. He should. Don't mind the majority of them condemning Kiyari now is even more worse than him. But what but what did he do? Everybody said him as a bad hero simply because he's a top police officer. Today everybody should go and sit down. Even the video play did not show where to convince people it was him. To me it was just a setup. Wonderful. Oga <laughs> Hey Oga God will not allow you to see bad thing now. God will not allow you to be a product of what is going on like this in this country. That is all I have to say, sir. This is your opinion. you. So you think Kiyari is a fool to opt for absconding from the country? If he did so, he would have an extradition to America made easy. Whatever you say. People are also coming out to say this is actually a stage Hollywood movie. That's the acting Hollywood movie for us. I mean, I'm saying in this country... If something like this is let us slide, then we are completely finished. If the first case, oh, that first case about, about Hoshpopi and Nabakiyari, if they let it slide and they do what they call, uh, the more you look, the less you see, and that case dies down, ha, then we are completely finished in this country. On this note, we've come to the end of it. We say thank you for turning into a lesson. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.